Hello everyone and welcome back to Civ 6 where we're doing okay, we're doing pretty well in terms of culture, we're catching up to some of the lower ranked uh, AI players in this match, Pericles and Indonesia. Still got a way to catch up to Caesar and definitely a long way to catch up to John Curtin of Australia. He's the one which is really causing some problems at the moment. I mean just look at that science, it's almost double R science, that's just, I think just just done with just <laughs> over half. We are beating him in culture though, so that we're going to use that to good effect. We are going to go for the Bolshoi as soon as we can here. We do have um, one of our great engineers ready to do so. And I'm also looking forward to getting the growth down here because that's only going to keep boosting our culture, our faith, and our general production in the or our general kind of boosts in this area. And that's going to be really good. And eventually we will get another. Um, so encampment, it is a preserved <laughs> down here at the Pantanal, so we can really make good use of the Pantanal. Um, but for the time being, I'm not sure there's much we can do. There's 10 turns till the end of the era. I'd love to be able to get to a Golden Age, but with 12 era score to get there, it's going to be a little bit tough, I would think. But, you, you know, never say never. It may well be possible. Um, Caesar's not happy because I don't have many troops, and to be fair, I don't. Um, so one of his agendas is standing army, so we could probably do with increasing our army a little bit for sure. Someone's built the Hui Tokali, that's fine, that's through the lakes. We're not we only have some lakes, not many at all. Nine turns to the end of the era. Now, if I go over here, do I still need great engineer points? I think we can probably start thinking about some of the great symphonies. Um, so we can start locking down music because I think we're still doing pretty. I, I wish this, I wish I could find out how many great engineer points this will give me. Probably it's going to be. Well, that's like f that's like fourteen. I'm not sure I can get rid of that to be honest. Fourteen is so good. So now we're going to keep that going. Just because. It means that we can really lock down these. Um, we can lock down these great engineers so quickly, which is useful. Now, Leonardo da Vinci is going to be a really good one because workshops provide three plus cultures, going to give us a nice big boost. And we are going to now go for. We can go for divine right, but we're not really going for a theocracy. It's not really our thing. Probably want to kind of work on something like colonialism. Um, Urbanisation is always good, as is stuff like the Hermitage, the Zoo, all pretty useful. So let's go for Colonialism, because it's also going to give us Fishing Boats improvements, which is not bad at all. And we can probably use that to go into Natural History. Now, two Envoys. I want to take back Mogadishu of Pericles, because Pericles is annoying me. Um, and having three Suzerain Tease is going to be very useful indeed for us. We will finish producing this art museum and then we're going to go into building the Bolshoi. Can the Bolshoi actually be built here? Yes, yeah, so it'll take 46 turns because our production is not excellent. Can we build it in Novia Dunham? Yeah, how long would it take in Novia Dunham? 32 in Novia Dunham? What about Adoratuka? I mean, Adoratuka is already building the Casa de Contestation. That's a mouthful to say. And there's not really anywhere that it can go, unfortunately. Uh, we do have a theatre square here, but there's no additional space for it to go on. Uh, what about Tavana? If Tavana's been in the Grove, 39 turns. And Summer Breaver just does not have the production at the moment. But we can increase that. Uh, how much for a build? A 4 or 5? So we can get that next turn. And we can use that to keep boosting up kind of any stone bits here. And the mines maybe, and the woods. So we can definitely make it work for sure. So I think we will still do it at Samurai Breather. It's going to take us a little while for sure. Um, you're going to build me a mine here. So that's only going to help our culture continue to grow. That really is the only thing we have going for us at the moment, for sure. Um, OK, 
Okay, the spring more turns to the grove, that'd be useful. I'm trying to work out if I want to put down something on this wood here, because right now the appeal is uninviting, so the preserves not going to do that much to improve it, so I think we will. Doing what you can. I think we will put something down on the wood because that will be useful. Summer and Breaver, we're going to purchase ourselves a builder. But we can't do that because the engineer's here, that's fine. We can move him out of the way. Get a builder down. He can keep producing more production in Summer and Breaver. So that really is our powerhouse of just population. Well, actually, I'd argue Adoratuka is much better in terms of production at 48. I mean, even Novodunum is not bad. Novia Dinner might even be better. Do we think it's better to build it there? I mean 32 versus 40 turns. That's another it's an additional 3 turns. Well, not 3 turns, what am I saying? <laughs> it's an additional 8 turns to get the Bolshoi. So we will actually move you down. There's not a huge amount of production places left because I did a lot of chopping in this area, but I do see some Woods that can go on some mines as well. Um, so we'll start heading down that way. So that we can... It's another four turns to the art museum. Do we just start building the Bolshoi now? I think we do. And um, we'll build it... Is it... Hang on, four? Never doubt. Is it coast or lake? It is coast or lake. Excellent. So what we'll do, we'll build it here. That should also boost these other nearby districts. So we'll build it there, the Bolshoi Theatre. It took a good amount of time for that to be built. That's, I would really hope we manage it, because that would be very useful indeed. Uh, Tavana's nearly done with the Grove, and Summer Breaver's nearly done with its Art Museum. Wonderful. I had intended to build the Bolshoi in Summer Breva, but actually it's going to be better off at Novia Dunham, just because it's going to be a lot quicker due to the amount of production we have. Well, even Tavana's not... Weirdly, Tavana's actually doing better in terms of production than Summer Breva. Interesting. Summer Breva I could do with... I could do with some more commercial districts, because we really need to do some offensive tourism, so to speak with our trade. So let's put this down here, this kind of useless desert spot, that's fine. And we can keep on going up with our trade. Now then, what's kind of our next port of call? You need to get down to the Bolshoi as quick as possible. I need you to start building some things. Now, I need to check tiling. See, those woods are actually not in the territory of Novia Dunham, which is unfortunate, but I don't think we're going to stop it. We need to keep Summer Breaver still fairly production heavy because it is actually falling behind. Ratimakos, you need some more housing, um, one way or another. There's not much we can do there at the moment. Bibrax, you're going to be a bit of a slow starter for sure. Um, but it's going to take you way too long to build a builder by hand, so we're just going to buy one when we have the option to do so. You're going to keep you an auto scout. If we don't get the Casa de Contratación, it's not the end of the world, but having three additional government promotions would be really useful, especially as governors gain 50% production, 50% faith, and 50% gold in cities not on my capital's content, and thankfully Adoratuka is very much isolated from the rest of our cities. So let's build the Taj Mahal. In fact, Julius Caesar has built the Taj Mahal. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay for now. Um, you'll never know the joy of a responsive mob to good speech because you never practice the art of politics. Interesting. I'm not thrilled by the amount of military that Caesar has, but as long as we can stay <laughs> friends or even possibly declared allies, that'd be wonderful. Um, so we have another two envoys. Who do we want to lock down? We get some more science via Fez. 
That should boost us up. Let's boost us up another nine times. That's well worth doing. Now, why are we going for square rigging again? Um, because we want to go into oh yes, we want to go into industrialization, and then probably economics following on from that. Oxford University would be nice, but we're really not going for science, so that's okay. Now, how are we doing over here? Let's get you up to here. Get our great engineer moving down. Still 30 turns for the Bolshoi. I'm not sure we're going to get it, and I'd really like to not waste it if entirely possible. We are now doing pretty well in terms of great artists, though, and also great writers. We're in second place behind Australia and an unknown competitor. But I'd say we're highest in terms of points, which is excellent. And actually, we're highest in term we're highest in terms of all the cultural great people, which is good. But we're going to need to do a little bit of catch up yet, I would say. So let's keep going. I'm just thinking: do we really do we want the Bolshoi, or do we want the Casa de Concertación? Because while the great writer points and great musician points per turn are nice, and also the extra slots. Oh, it does give two additional randomly frozen. It does give two free civics as well, which could really push us ahead in the cultural game. That's something we're going to keep ahead of. Okay, friendship with Caesar has ended. Let's start that up again. Wonderful. And over in Tavana, um, get a university down just to ensure that we get some science because we're going to need more science regardless. Oh, but look at this now. Some of these tiles are getting very good. Seven food, four culture, four faith, two gold. Eight food, six culture, six faith, one production. Excellent. We are now really storming away with this. It's great. Because, you know, we really needed to. Um, but this is really the best chance we have actually winning and we're really close now to catch up into the score to Pericles and especially Indonesia. 29 points for the Bolshoi to be done. How much can you realistically give to this? 315. Oh, it's still going to be a long old way to go mind. Whereas if I did Casa. I could, I could ensure I get Casa de Contratación, which I actually think is a better use of this chappy here. So we're going to go up to Aduatuca, and we're going to pretty much ensure that we get the Casa, unless, of course, someone gets it in the next couple of turns, which would be sad. Rome has settled Palmyra. I don't know where. They must be settling down the other way. I'm getting a little bit worried by Rome's war machine, it must be said. We do have plenty of city-states on our side, which is of course useful. Um, I'm also wondering if there's anything we can sell, just to get a little bit more money. Four turns for the Naissance era, we're not going to get to a Golden Era, unfortunately. But that's okay. Right, Filippo, I need you to boost this up to six, and then next turn you we will get Casa, which will be excellent. Indonesia, do you want to buy anything off me? You usually have lots of money spare, but you already have whales, I see. Do you want some horses, though? What do you give me for 40 horses? Nothing. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what about you, Rome? Rome already has whales. Um, curtain? Probably shouldn't sell this to you, but what would you give me in return? Some gold, or... Okay, you've got no other cultural things at the moment, so that's fine. I'll take the gold off you. It's less gold for you, more for me, although it does give you another luxury. And then how are we doing on Leonardo da Vinci? Very good indeed. Oh, Australia's just overtaken us in terms of points there. We might need to get ourselves back on track, because I'd much... That's three separate things I'd much prefer that we get over Australia. One more turn until our fishing boats improved, which is going to help with our production in Adoatuka. And we'll get some more envoys, colonial taxes, Raj. That's going to, that could be pretty useful, actually. 
Two science, culture, faith, and gold from each city state. You says we're off. Uh, well, it'd be six science, culture, and faith, and gold, which is, you know, still not bad actually. By any means. Um, so yes, we're kind of going for all the wonders this time. Reina consorts de Franza ed Anglaterra. Jo jai reds da mor. Karls novas dets? Bonjour, Eleanor. That's an interesting person to have on the playing field. I'm not convinced. I'm very happy with that because she can be really, really, really good when it comes to imperialism and war. Also originated in the human brain. She can be really powerful when it comes to the loyalty game. Um, so I'm going to have to be aware of... Oh, Colonial Taxes is, would actually do pretty well for us as well in terms of production. I'm actually going to take off Merchant Confederacy and I'll put on Colonial Taxes instead because we get a similar amount of gold but way more production as well. Now Raj, do we want to put Raj on? It does mean we're going to be lowering the amount of influence we get per turn towards city-states. But that does give us more culture, science of faith, so I am going to take it. For now, anyway. I'm just wondering if we can get rid of something like Republican Legacy, because it's kind of taking up a slot. It used to be used for something else. We can take it off. But it does oh it does provide quite a few amenities and also housing. We'll put Republican Legacy back in, that's fine. And now that we've done colonialism, let's go for Could go for natural history, start pumping out the amenities, the tourism. Not a terrible potential thing, although we're not really going for we're not really going for archaeology, but we could very much go for conservations. You know, tourism. We want to be going for conservations if possible. So let's do that. We'll come back for stuff like civil engineering, urbanization. Urbanization is very nice. I'm not sure it's needed at the moment. Am I happy with that? I think I'm happy with that. Production here in Samabriva. You're going to need a new house soon, so just build a granary, then maybe some walls. And let's All get the lands found Casa down. All of the western side of the boundary shall belong to the king and queen of Castile and their successors. Oh, very nice. This is the first time I built Casa at all. But it actually works out really well with the way our cities have, are set up. Okay, so now let's... What can we do here? We can't really do anything more interesting. Let's go for a spy. We might be able to spy on Greece, which would be fairly useful. Right, uh, oh we get four envoys of course, because we built... What other one did we build? We built... The one which gives us bonus to... Uh, Ap yeah, Apadana, that's the one. So with four envoys, do we want colossal heads? I'm not sure we do. We could hold out. I'm actually going to hold out for the envoys, and then we can see who we need to just take our city states back off. That's not a bad thing, actually. It's not bad at all. Right, we have three governor titles. How do we want to use this effectively? We've got plenty of things that we can upgrade. Commercials and harbours in the city, that's a problem because I don't actually really have any. Uh, could go for stuff like Curator. Actually, that's not a bad one to get down anyway. Um, so we'll get Curator down, that should help our tourism going forward. I'm just trying to see if there's anything here. I think it's probably a bit too late for Magnus. I mean, it's probably never too late for Magnus. The city receives production from all nearby industrials and buildings with regional bonuses, not just the first. That'd be nice, but it's a long way down to go for that. Deal Masters and Commissioner. 
Right, I'm going to appoint Liang in. I think it's going to be in Tavana because it's by the sea. Yeah, we'll assign her in Tavana. And that's also going to help um, get our production and our gold and everything else up as well. Now that we have built Casa de Concentración, which is still hard to say regardless. And I'm actually going to straight away allow her to build the fishing improvements with aquaculture because that could be pretty useful for a lot of this useless ground here in Tavana. We can make Tavana into another nice kind of powerhouse. Uh, let's build some more production buildings over here in Oviadunum. In an effort to get the Bolshoi, we may not manage it. We're only five points off getting a golden age. We're going to be really close, but I don't think we're going to quite manage it, unfortunately. Uh, Eleanor, first of all, have a resident embassy. Wonderful. Would you declare friendship? No, you wouldn't. Uh, she likes city-states. She likes populous cities. Interesting. Uh, is there anything I can sell you that you don't... You don't have any iron. How much do you want for all my iron? Because I don't need the iron at the moment. What would you give me for all this iron? 26 gold for 30 turns for only 50 iron. Absolute bargain. Yes, please. That is a pretty damn good deal if I saw one myself. So what's next? What do we need to be focusing on going forward? The university is okay. Archimacos is now done with its art museum. We are an absolute powerhouse of culture now. And we're very close to overtaking Lenore and Indonesia. So this is going pretty well, actually. And the additional one is going to help. There is a considerable amount of Indonesian uh, religious units here. I'm just a little bit concerned about the old religion. I don't mind really being converted to someone as long as I'm not, as long as there's no chance of someone winning a religious victory. Which I don't think at the moment that there is, so that's okay. I do see a Greek settler coming up there, which I'm not thrilled by. I'm not sure really where you're going to end up going, but we'll have to see. Right, Mr. Builder, I need you to go over here. And 567 gold. Where can we effectively use that? Let's buy Bibraxis Builder. So we can actually do, you know, something useful with its life. Because uh, right now Bibrax is kind of terrible. I still need to work out how to move tiles over. There, I'm, I'm sure there is a way. But it may not even have the culture borders yet. That's the problem. Uh, it seems like that's... Oh, we can swap. Excellent. I want to swap the... There we go. And so then we'll put down a preserve down there, and that will make things all hunky-dory. Excellent. We don't actually want Bibrax to work the Pantanal, we just want to be able to build a preserve for the Pantanal. That's kind of the main thing that we want to focus on. And we can put something down on the deers and stuff as well, so we can make Bibrax an okay city. It's not going to be perfect by any means. Maybe other than nothing. Let's build a lumber mill here. I'm not sure that's going to knock off any time, but it's better than nothing. Um, you're going to have to, I think, probably go build on the crabs first. Yeah, go build on the crabs first. That'll be useful. Samurai Breaver. Get a market down for three. That will give us another trade route. Not a bad idea. By any stretch of the imagination. Okay, and then Retumakos will be done with this art museum momentarily. It is struggling a little bit for housing, so we need to find a way to push that housing up a little bit. Rome's and Leonardo da Vinci, you absolute bastard. How did that happen? Um, first of all, um, you can have open borders, but you're not having the Chuchi. I want the Sistine Chapel. No, I'm not. I could buy the Sistine Chapel. You have so many great works, goodness me. That's worth remembering for future, but for now, no. 
I am f absolutely fuming that Rome got that bit engineer. I'm not entirely sure how he managed that. Um, I thought we had him locked down, to be honest. Julius Caesar was ravaged by a natural disaster. I don't really want to help him, but I will join in in case I can get a couple of easy diplomatic points. Having some diplomatic points is always useful. Now, I'm in the industrial it's era. The towering sales. Has anyone else got to like a golden era or anything? So if anyone else is in a heroic era, that could be problematic. No, no one's in the um, golden era or heroic era that I know of anyway. Thankfully, John Curtin is in a dark era, which is useful, but it means he might then push to a uh, heroic era next era, and that would be problematic. I have to say. Now, I want to probably go for something cultural if I can. Hobby to steam, each industrial or later building constructed, maybe. From the coinage, we don't have that many trades units. We'll go for hobby to steam. Um, it's probably the best one we have. Let's go over here and build a mine. Over Aratu Makos, you can just go for something simple like a workshop. Yeah, just go for a workshop for now. You're going to come up here and build on those crabs. Oh, I'm fuming that we lost Leonardo da Vinci. That would have been excellent to get Leonardo da Vinci. But unfortunately, not in this... Not this time. Once we get a... We're also going to get a builder out into Havana. Um, once we have the goal to do so, which we'll be able to do next turn, we can start building some fishing districts in the area of Tavana. That will also make things a lot better as well. We've just found a barbarian encampment up there. That should be okay. Stop trying to buy my great works, please. Um, you want the diplomat to favour? I'm getting rid of that. What, would, what do you want for this? Can I not give you... I'd actually rather give you some diplomatic favour. What about like 20 diplomatic favour? Would that do? What about 40 diplomatic favour? And a one-time deal? Sure. There we go. Enemy stole... Oh, someone stole one of my great works. Who stole Discourses on Livy? Was that the, was that the one I just bought back from Rome? I think it might have been. That's frustrating, to say the least. But we're still doing okay. We are still very much culturally ahead, although actually Eleanor is the one who is kind of closest. I am also just going to declare friendship with her to ensure that we're okay. But look at that, we have finally overtaken Indonesia and uh, the French. We are no longer in last place in terms of scores and that is quite satisfying to say the least. Right, let's try to give Vibrax a bit of a boost because it sorely needs it. And we'll go do the same with the fish over there. It's not obviously the kind of perfect ones that I like to go for, but it's the most important ones at the moment to get food up, to get production up. It is important that we get that sorted. Australia's settled Adelaide. That's not too bad, all things considered. Adelaide. Uh, I mean, they've got so many cities already that probably there's not really much else we can do. Uh, Some review there has fit reach 15 population, so that's going to help us with urbanisation. And I think there was also a city-state quest for Auckland, excellent. Now our spy, Rome we're on good terms with, I'd rather not disrupt that. So we're going to go over to Sparta. Sparta's got a cultural district, but there's no great work heist possible there. What about uh, Olympia? Okay, we could steal some mark from there. Excellent. So we'll go over to Olympia and get that sorted. Now then, we could go for medieval walls. That would provide some additional tourism. Or we could go for a trader in two turns. So let's do that. Speaking of which, how's the culture game going? Because someone's starting to get a few tourists down. And that's mildly worrying for me. Uh, Summer Breaver, what can we do here for you that would be useful? 
You know what? I'm going to give you some wool. Ooh, am I or am I going to give you science? We're never going to be the best scientists in the world, that's for sure. I'm going to give you some walls. I'm a little bit concerned about Rome. Uh, Tavana, you can have some ancient walls because that's only going to take you one turn. And I'm also going to give you a builder. And now it's now in Tavana, which is excellent. Uh, which means I can start cranking out these fishery improvements on in Tavana. Um, I'd love to get the Ruhr Valley, the Ruhr Valley down, uh, especially either in Novia Dunum, possibly even Tavana actually. Tavana, Adoratuka, I don't think there's going to be space for the Ruhr Valley. Because um, it's going to be built in a river adjacent to industrial zone district. It's a little bit problematic to get that sorted. Now, Novia Dunum needs some more housing as well. I'm sure we can get around to that in good order, in good time. Over here at Tavana, three turns. Let's give you some medieval walls as well. It will, of course, help with our tourism to some extent. And let's get some fisheries down. So right now it's kind of remarkable, or fairly unremarkable, one food, two production, one gold. It will now be a three food, three production, one gold. Much better indeed. That's going to really give Tavana the boost it needs, I would say. Um, it's not going to be perfect, of course, but it's better than nothing. Right, 41 turns to the preserve. Not great, but it also will give us housing here. So, let's get it started. Over time, we might be able to boost Bibrex enough that the preserve actually means something useful. Okay, natural history will, will be done here momentarily. They'll give us some envoys. And we can keep pushing forward. I think we're going to be probably... Oh, we're not the first into the... Oh, we're not into the first part of the... They're still in the industrial area. We'll be there next turn. And then we're going to push to conservation. And probably after that, I'd like to go for something like democracy, maybe. Um, instead of giving me some gold, how about you give me... Would you give me the bones of the Magi? No. What about the Christian statue? Not for 29 gold, I'm not doing that. Do you need horses or anything? Um, I'll give you some open borders if that makes this <laughs> cheaper, which isn't really. Uh, no, not happening I'm afraid, sir. I'm trying to think what would be the best cultural government to go for. Communism I'm doesn't do that much for me. But it does... Communism might actually help me just to give me additional production persistent in cities with governors and some science as well. Fascism, I don't really need. So we'll probably head towards communism for sure. Once we've got conservation, we'll go towards communism. Communist France. Um, or communist Gaul, I should say. Right, there's not much more that you can usefully do here, so I'll just get you to build a farm here. And you're not... The fisheries are only good when they're next to something important, like this sea resource. So I'm going to go build one over here. Two food for two production. Again, just going to give that Tavana that nice little boost. Right. What gives me the most culture? Absolutely nothing. What gives me the most money? Mogadishu. Mogadishu gives me a good amount of money. Get it done. Production here in Adotuka. I don't need an aqueduct, really. But what we will start doing is, I guess we could keep going for an army. Because that will just keep on helping with our culture. Or we could try to get the Hermitage down. It's a bit late to go for it. But you know what? We'll remove the mine, but I think we can always rebuild the... I'm going to try to rebuild the mine, that's not an issue. Uh, six envoys, but I want to save them for something useful. Tourism from Faith once that is discovered. We do have quite a bit of faith coming in per turn. 
You know what? I'm going to chuck six. No, that's that's not worth it. Let's we'll put three into Fez, one into Leventa, and we'll keep two back for now. Because that will help with our science a little bit. And also our fifth generation for when we start going to uh, naturalists, which would be wonderful. Okay, let's end the 16 turns of the Bolshoi. We, we might get away with it. We may not. We'll have to see. Who's probably due a builder next? I'd say Samurai Breaver because they're still doing excellently for themselves. We'll get some more gold next turn. 10 turns until we get James Watt, who arguably is not that useful because he only gives us factories and workshops in this district. But he also does provide 2 plus production, which I guess is probably actually the best thing there. Ooh, if we could try to steal the great white, the great writer, the great writer, that'd be excellent, and possibly even this great artist too. We're too far away from the great musicians for this run. I think Greece and the other two will beat us there. It's better than nothing for sure. So let's end the turn. Oh no, we've got to build you guys up. So that's going to be some additional food in production. Right, Bibrax is now not terrible. Um, we will keep on going. We'll probably go down and get the amber next, purely just to get that sorted. And then we'll go down maybe for the deers as well. It's kind of all the good spots left <laughs> in Bibrax. And I think we can eventually build farm on Tundra. It's not going to be excellent by any means, but it'll be better than nothing. We'll see if we can get the Ruhr Valley down somewhere, because that'd be excellent as well. But we might be the well, well, we're not going to be the first in the industrial era for science, for sure. But that also helps with production to mines, and goodness me, we've got a lot of mines at the moment, so that's well worth doing. I'm going to make you to build a farm, not because this one's going to be good, but it will boost that other one behind. It's still not terrible. Now then, that's going to have actually probably really boosted out of a Tuka, if anything. Uh, you are needed to get a new builder down. Who is going to, if anyone is going to have to build the Ruhr Valley? No, because you somehow don't have a factory in... Summer of Even, no wonder your production's terrible. If you don't even have a factory. Uh, Ratchet Makos, could you build one for me? 42 turns. You also don't have a factory. Oh, no one's going to have a factory, are they? No, no one is going to have a factory. So 29 turns in Summer of Breaver. Novia Dunham, there's no real point in looking because it's already stuck with something else. The Hermitage, the Ruhr Valley, we get down 23. So I think probably we'll try to get it down to Samurai Breva if we can, even though it's really not the highest. Oh, I'd actually love to get it down to Nadoatuka, to be perfectly honest with you. Because each mine and quarry, there's a considerable amount of them here, although possibly not as much as they used to be because we're <laughs> filling that place up with wonders. So possibly, actually I think Summer Breaver would not be a bad place for it. I think we were fed unlucky and didn't find any coal in our empire, which is unfortunate. So let's now go towards economics. We're not too far behind the trend now in terms of science, which is good. Next, uh, I could, oh, fl I'd like to go for flight, but that's a long way off to get flight done. Banking and astronomy won't take long. Scientific theory. Flight. Let's go for economics. Oh, economics is arguably as long. But let's go for flight then. To try and get our tourism up. You can go and build on this amber. And you can still come build some mediocre fisheries because they'll still be better than nothing um, here in Tavana. 
because those tiles would be pretty kind of unimportant otherwise. So it's still better to be able to do that than nothing at all. Liang, can I only build aquacultures if... Oh no, I can build them in other cities as well. It's just I get additional production if Liang is in this city. Because I've got plenty of space in Adawatuka to build some more, so that will go well as well. Let's build some quarries here in San Mabriva. Give us as much production as possible to work towards the Rua Valley, which we may we may not get in all honesty, but it'd be lovely if we could. But yeah, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six tiles that we can go for here at Adawatuka with fisheries again. Not going to be perfect, but it will still be better than not doing anything at all. Ratumac, of course, we can do the same. Bibrax, we can do the same. Novia Dunham, I don't think we can on lake tiles, but we can certainly give it a go. But let's start putting fisheries pretty much down everywhere. I think that would be a useful thing to do. France has cleared the land in Marseille for Petra. Goodness me. Petra's a very old wonder by today's standard. I'm surprised no one's built it, actually. I would really love to have a great engineer which will give me a boost to wonders. I mean, no one's going to get any more great engineers for quite some time. We can even actually buy James Watt straight away. But I'm not sure it's the best use of our faith because I'd like to get some naturalists down. Uh, once we have conservation up and running. So you come over here and build me another quarry. Over in Samurai Breva, I need you to build a factory because we can't build the Rua Valley until we do so. Now is the Rua Valley actually by a... Well, our Oppidum? See, our Oppidum's there, so he's not actually going to be able to build a Rua Valley. Because it's going to be along a river adjacent to industrial zone with a factory. So it can't be built in Samurai Breaver. Have I planned this out all wrong? I might have done. I can build it in Novia Dunham. Just 51. Savannah doesn't have a river, neither does Ratumakos. Neither does. Well, actually, Edward Tuka does, but it's currently building something else. So that may not be possible. So for now, we'll probably have to see if we can get it down in, the, in Novia Dunham. It probably wouldn't be a bad thing to get a factory down anyway. Just keep on working in on that. Of course, it's not powered and we don't have... Oh, we do have access to coal from city-states. Excellent. We're just going to pretty much focus all in on production, I would say. And that's going to be the best thing we can do. Let's keep on building some fisheries. And we have two amber. Now, where is that amber actually coming from? Resources. Bib oh, it's coming from Bibrax and a city-state of Namadal. So we may as well build it here. Uh, build ourselves an industry. It's not going to be very useful in Bibrax, but it'll be better than nothing, I suppose. Better to have it than not have it, for sure. Palazzo Palace might be nice as well. Just have another diplomatic policy slot. I'm not sure if anyone's actually built the Palazzo Palace yet, but probably it's back in astronomy, which is remarkable we haven't got yet. Normally I very much go for science builds. This time we've gone for kind of more cultural build, which is fun. It's a nice change. Eleanor is catching up with culture, which I'm not entirely thrilled by. You're going to come over here and build a lumber mill because this is still a terrible tile anyway. It's never going to look good. What can you do here? You can come up and build some lumber mills everywhere. That's also not a bad thing. We just keep on going in the factories. I mean, we can start producing a lot of CO2. That's the only thing we might want to think about. Uh, flood planes going forward. But we're very much a... Let's focus on the <laughs> industrial side of things. So let's keep pushing with that. So we'll build an industry here in Bibrax. We'll give it a nice boost. This... 
um, be able to here you can just start fishing stop putting down some, some fishing stuff everywhere why can't you put down a fishery do I have to be I'm guessing on, oh, okay I'm guessing only I can even build it when Nang is in Adotuka. I can, re I can briefly reassign Pingala and Adotuka. I'm going to briefly do that. And then Pingala. But we will have lost some culture doing this. I'll put you into Vanna for now. It's going to take you five turns to establish. And it's going to really. We're having real issues with food here in Adotuka. 131 turns to grow again. This is why we need to get the fisheries down for sure. Okay, we've got two wonders on the go at the moment. I'm not entirely convinced we're going to get either of them. If we do, that would be excellent. James Watt will actually be really useful for us. Oh, we can get Edgar Allan Poe! Wonderful! I like Edgar, I like Edgar Allan Poe. How are we doing for great works, by the way? Still got a few slots. We could start thinking about theming people in uh, in our art museums. Not that we fun. actually have any artwork at the moment, so we might need to start um, acquiring some one way or another. So we will. Oh, someone took Edgar Allan Poe. Interesting. But we can have Johann Wolfgang von Guth, which is fine. And friendship with. But Indonesia has ended, so let's get that started again. And you can't build any fisheries till Liang has arrived. And you can come over here and just build on that lumber when you get the moment as to. As you trust yourself, You're going to come over to this no cultural district and just start your create works. We can always move them around. Uh, Eleanor, you've got a ton of these things, by the way. Um, so I want some sculptures off you, really. Three sculptures. What would it take? <laughs> a lot. You don't have go you don't have coal, do you? You also don't have mercury. It's a good start. What about if I gave you twenty-four coal? Twenty-three gold. A turn, three gold, twenty-four coal, one mercury. Honestly, done. Because that should be themed, if I'm not mistaken. Go to great works. Two out of three. So we need okay, we need another sculpture by Michelangelo. Does anyone have a sculpture by Michelangelo? The Art of War. If anyone has a sculpture by Michelangelo, or possibly even Donatello, I will pay good money for it, just to get the theming up and running. Most people have great writers, not great artists, it seems. Um, Pericles might have one, actually. Oh, you've got, a, you've got something by Donatello. What do you want for it? One time doing 144 gold. I don't mind paying the one off gold. Um, but what about some diplomatic favour instead? And 10 gold a turn? Done. That's mean we're losing a bit of gold per turn. We're doing pretty well in terms of gold anyway. Now, if we go back to Great Works and put the second Donatello thing together. Uh, we'll get those two ready. We just need to find another Donatello sculpture and another Michelang Michelangelo. Michelangelo, however one says it, <laughs> sculpture as well. Right, I want to try steal this statue. Only 25%, so what I'm going to do is go and gain sources. That will make my spies a little better. You can't build any fisheries just yet. Still another turn before the iron turns in, but what you can do is probably build a mine there. Be better than nothing. You can come over here and just build a farm. 
I'm not sure we're going to use it at the moment, but again, it's better than nothing. Okay, end the turn there. Once we've got Pingala back in our, in our capital, that will kind of fix our lack of culture and science. If you're the bank, one hundred dollars. Okay, four turns for engineer James Watts. Human race useful. is a monotonous affair. Most people um, spend right, the greatest part of their time working writing down. in order to live, and what little freedom remains so fills them with fear that they seek out any and every means to be rid of it. I quite like the writings of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Um, right, let's get a lumber mill down here. So we just need to start kind of carpet bombing our empire with stuff. You can build a lumber mill here. It's still not bad production, actually. Bibrax is never going to be a great city, but it, it can be an okay city, for sure. Um, I'm intrigued to see how we're doing in terms of culture. That, okay. Right now we're in the industrial era, but we should, I think, we'll be the first person up to conservation for sure. And we've been setting up some faith, arguably, <laughs> probably not enough the amount of naturalists we want, but I imagine there's not only going to be so many spaces we can put down a natural kind of, or national park anyway. I'm sure there's not going to be that many spots we can do so. Someone has built a wonder. Someone's built the Statue of Liberty. John Curtin, right. Diplomacy, how's he doing? Eight points, that's worrisome. Because the Statue of Liberty gives you four, and that's not something we want to keep happening. 100% production toward buildings in this district, absolutely. I want. I think probably culture districts down. Uh, theatre squares. We definitely don't want no buildings to be created. And city-states of this type do not provide a unique bonus. We will go for religious, as we don't have any. So if we can stop the religious people getting their ones, that would be pretty good. Okay, so we get one diplomatic victory point from that. It's better than nothing. You're going to come up here and build a farm. You're going to build a mine. It's still going to actually be pretty good, despite the fact it's on Tundra. And then once the Angus is established, we'll get all our fisheries down there. Who could also do with another new builder? Novia Dunham, I think, probably could. Again, we can probably just carpet bomb the rest of these with farms now. I say carpet bombs. Carpet bombs in the positive sense of the word, not the unpositive sense of the word, so to speak. Um, build a farm here. And we should not be too far off. Monsieur James Watt. Um, especially as the police are outside. I apologise if you can hear that. Uh, it's two turns for James Watt. Ooh. Tell you what, John Rockefeller wouldn't be a bad person to grab, to grab. But I don't think we're going to manage that. Ooh, I'd quite like Johann Sebastian Bach, but I don't think we're going to get him, unfortunately. I think some people might be doing city projects to boost their points when it comes to artists, etc, etc. Um, although some of them do just have more points, and we could, we could buy Kui Ku Ying straight away with our faith. I'm not sure that's really the best use, to be honest. Right, let's get back out on the open seas. This builder here is going to just go over here to these empty farmlands, or potential empty farmlands, to get that all sorted. Just means Novio Dinam will constantly grow because they'll have plenty of surplus food and plenty of surplus housing as well, which is good because it's getting quite low on the spare housing, uh, as is Ratumakos. 
Uh, we need to sort out an Indonesia settled, settled beamer. Uh, can't quite see what that is. It must be somewhere down here that we don't have active visibility of. And there's Monsieur James Watt. Um, we haven't built an Oppidum. I think we've built... Wait, what, did, what does he actually give again? A factory and a workshop. Okay, I don't think we build a workshop here. But either way, let's get this done, and that's just going to hopefully increase our production across the entire empire. And that's just knocked off three turns off the Hermitage straight away. Oh, six turns to the Bolshoi. We might get it, you know. That'd be really excellent if we could. We could chop down. I don't know if this is within our empires. We could try chop down the forest here to ensure that we get in. To ensure we get it. How long would it take you to get over there? Three turns. Head over there and we're going to chop it down for safety to ensure we get the Bolshoi down. Who's the next um, great engineer that we can get? Ada Lovelace. Triggers the Eureka moment for the computer technology, lets the city build one more district within the population limit allows. Hmm, that's okay. I wouldn't say it's one that we particularly need. Uh, but, okay, we've also found Brussels. 15% um, production towards wonders. No wonder Caesar's been building so many of them. We are going to take that off him if we can. Or at least give ourselves a lot more production with factories and workshops everywhere. So that would be very, very useful. So, Brussels, let's start trying some envoys your way. It's going to take a little while to beat Caesar, but I'd like for him him not to have some city-states on, or at least more city-states on his side. Samra Breva. You can build the Great Zimbabwe, which is an interesting one, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure it's entirely... I mean, Great Merchant Points is fine. And some additional gold and additional trade capacity, it's okay. But I wouldn't say it's kind of our main that we need to focus on. Let's go for university, keep boosting our science one way or another. Right, let's, we can start also doing our fishery now, which is good. Um, Aquitaine is annoyed at us because we keep on uh, getting city-states to like us. I'm sorry we're so damn likeable. Um, let's get a builder, another builder down here in Adotuka so we can just really boost Adotuka quickly. Thankfully it now has some food to actually grow again. Four more turns to the Bolshoi. Can we manage it? I hope we can. I also thought Rome was invading there. They're not. It's just... Ooh, okay. Indonesia's built some vessels cathedral. That's okay. And Greece and Indonesia are at war again. That's actually fine for me. It means that probably Greece will not come after us, which is... <laughs> Arguably a very good thing. Don't fit the theory. Water and air. Okay, we. I'm hoping we're going to be the first people in the have become global garbage um, next era, in the modern era. Okay, now anything here that actually we need to grab. Weirdly, aesthetics is not very good at all. Um, I think we need to keep Republican Legacy on purely just because the amount of amenities that we need. Although we could move it up elsewhere. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of Republican Legacy and Serfdom, because we can build we can buy new We can buy new builders pretty easily. And we'll put Liberalism in here. And we will probably go for something like Great Artists, I would say. Because at the moment we don't have any additional broadcast centres, so we'd probably be better off with frescoes for the time being. Uh, in terms of civics, are we the first in the era? Yes, we are. Excellent. Right. Oh, and also, communism is down. It's going to take us eight turns to get there. Because we haven't done stuff like, you know, nationalism, civil engineering, urbanisation. 
But I think that's going to be the next road forward. Just thinking about all the way to the f kind of future governments. Probably digital democracy will be the one we want to go for to get more culture bonuses down. You're going to come up here and build some fisheries as well. Production into Havana. Water park would be nice, or would be nice even. Keeping people happy by increasing mentees. Can be built in the city with an entertainment complex. You know what? Build it here. Because I think it might actually also give us tourism in the long run. We have three envoys. We're going to keep boosting our production here in Brussels. I might even boost our production to get stuff like the Bolshoi down. I'm actually going to have a look and see if it helps with the Hermitage. Not so much, but it may going forward. Technology, how are we doing in the kind of race there? John Curtin's in the modern era. That's worrying. I'm not really sure what to go for after this because we're going to have to start possibly... Oh yeah, we want to go for stuff like radios, won't we? Sure. Now that... Oh! Do we need a holy site to... No, we don't. Excellent. We're going to build a natural... Buy a naturalist there. Buy one in Samurai Breaver as well. We're going to kind of get some naturalists down everywhere. Well, I say everywhere. I mean twice because that's all we can afford. But it's better than nothing. <coughs> Rome has denounced Greece, excellent. That means me and Rome will probably stay best buds for now. At least in theory. <laughs> Maybe not in practice. Three turns to the Bolshoi, I think we can get it. And I actually think it was best, better to go for the Casa de Contratación. Because that actually really worked in our favour. Is there anywhere we can build any national parks? Because as far as I'm aware, it needs to be... In, yeah, it needs to be in a valid spot, and we don't actually have any. That's unfortunate. Is there somewhere we can go? <laughs> we, could settle, <laughs> we could settle a city up here purely to put down some national parks. They've got to be breathtaking, haven't they? I think it's got to be breathtaking to be a national park. The problem is we've kind of industried up over. If the Pantanal was the correct way around, then maybe. We'll set another city down here just for kind of connecting up the Empire. And we may well be able to put down a national park there, we'll have to see. Uh, here in Ratumakos, I want a. I'll go for a sanctuary. Oh, that's even better. So that provides science and gold. And production. Oh, yes. <laughs> I should have been getting on with that much, much sooner. Because that's just going to make every bit of the Pantanal just incredible. Right, you can build me a lumber mill here. And you can just keep building fisheries everywhere. As can you, my good man. We're going to make Adwatuka. Pretty damn good for now. We'll just put the nationalists to rest because there's not much they can do. But then maybe in future. Come on, two turns to the Bolshoi. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, I hear a spy. Someone stole 792 gold. Not great, but we can kind of afford it at the moment. Oh, I'll tell you what. Indonesia's actually caught up in terms of score, although we have now overtaken Pericles. Very nice. I'm wondering who the rest of the civilizations are, because because we're kind of behind in science, we haven't really explored that much in other areas just yet. Also, another special session of the World Congress. I will join this. Just hopefully stop John Curtin getting any more diplomatic points, for sure. That would not be very fun. Um, I hear another spy thing. Someone's just... Oh no, that's our spy. Good. Not someone else's spy. Uh, go over here and build me something. You can keep on working on the fisheries. Uh, as can you. 
just getting fisheries down over there just makes everything so much better. Right, I want to see if I can steal this great work. 50% chance of mission success, 34% chance of mission failure. I think that's pretty okay. And in just one turn's time, Novidunum. Give me the Bolshoi. But first, we've got to move you up. Camera is going all over the place. But come on, give me a Novidunum. Bolshoi Ballet is a universe of the imagination. Don't give me Novidunum, but give me magic Bolshoi. Enchantment, beauty and romance. Its many worlds vibrate with graceful dances, glorious music, and sumptuous costumes. Oh, Human with Swan Lake in the background as well. Manifested in tribalism How and nationalism. Horrified and elegant. Wonderful. I conclude then this point touching upon the power of kings with this axiom of divinity. Ooh, it gives us nationalism. That's a, to a little bit late. God may do oh, possible. I see. These are the two civics. So it is sedition to dispute what a king may do. Unfortunately, not the best civics that we got there. We've got, uh, we've got nationalism, actually. That helps. That will buy us some time. I didn't really need um, the other one, though. That's better than nothing, for sure. Right, production here in Summer Breaver. I want to go for the Sanctuary, because that's just going to be working so well for us in the future. Um, is there any real benefit getting some peel down here? Not really, no. So love your dinner, we don't think you need that. Take one turn to build an art museum. Uh, Savannah, you can build yourself a sanctuary as well. We'll go for a bunch of sanctuaries. You can come up this way. And let's give... Let's keep promoting Liang, because Liang can be pretty good. City park improvements can, of course, be very good for culture as well. So we'll go for Waterworks. Not that we really need it, but in the future we might do. That's okay. And we've unlocked a new government. But not one that we really wanted. <laughs> not particularly, anyway. That's that's okay. Uh, we will leave things there off to, for today, though, because we've been doing very well. We've got a good amount of wonders. We've got Castle, we've got... Uh, the Bolshoi. If we're lucky, we might get the Hermitage as well. We do have high production and culture across the Empire now. So we're going to have to kind of go all in on the tourism. We're not generating that much tourism just yet. But once flight kicks in, I reckon that will do pretty well for us. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.